what's up guys and welcome back to another video today's video as you can see in the topic the last day of my life now a lot of you will be wondering why am i creating a video with a topic like that well one should realize that life is too short and we do not know how long we have to live it may be tomorrow it may be in the next hour it may be in the next year it may be in 20 30 40 years there are people who are lucky enough to live to their hundreds. There are people who are sad enough to live as they are children. But the point of the matter is, we don't have a lot of time, or we may not have a lot of time. And that's why it's important for us to take every opportunity that we have and take and be grateful for it. Be thankful for the family we have. Be thankful for the opportunities, jobs. And there might be a time when you're in a dark place and you don't have that opportunity or you're starting up a business and you're not quite sure where you're going to go in life because it's taking long. That's when we need to teach ourselves patience. Patience is the key. But be thankful that you've had the mind and the thought and the, the confidence to go on and take that adventure. There are people out there who are so unhappy in certain workplaces that it leads to depression. It leads to mental health illnesses, it leads to anger, it leads to divorce, breakups, fights, because you're not happy in a workplace or in an environment that you're currently in. And it can lead to much, much worse. And that's why I encourage you guys, but if you're in a dark place, find out a way on how to turn on a light. It may be a dim light at the moment, but work every day at turning that switch to get it brighter and brighter. And don't tell me it's impossible because that's nothing is impossible until it's done. Ask Nelson Mandela's past. He will tell you that. 27 years the man suffered and he came out forgiving in his darkest days. There's situations in my life where when I was a baby, I was sick. And um, my father was on a business trip in Johannesburg and my mom called him and told him take the next flight back to Cape Town because Gareth's not going to make it. You have to say goodbye. I thankfully survived that. As you can see, I'm talking to you right now. That could have been my chance where I might have not seen the light today after the age of two. Then in my trick, I've got a very strong memory. We were at a camp and um, I was climbing up a dune. It was like a rocky sand dune, but very rocky. I didn't actually know it was sand at the time. And I was sitting or lying down watching the view, waves. What I didn't realize is it was a hundred meter drop onto solid rock. I went a little bit closer to scout shop just to have a proper bird's eye view. That corner piece broke and I fell. My best friend was behind me watching and I went down and thank the Pope that there was a little ridge that I landed in. It was like a, a cup holder that I just fell in and I turned my back. If I had turned another three centimeters, I would have been off and in the rocks dead. But the heavens above were watching on me and it wasn't my time yet. What it taught me was to go out there and to live life. I have challenges. I'm a dwarf. I get name called. I get I lose opportunities of certain jobs because of my size. I can't reach things. There's a lot of challenges that keep lead me to depression. And there are times when I've allowed it to lead me to depression, where I've felt sorry for myself, where I've done things that I'm not very proud of, even recently. But having the strong sense of people in your life can change that motivation. It can give you that boost to move forward. I had a very strong talk with very close friends of mine this past weekend. And we were talking at certain things. Why do I do things that I do? Good things, bad things, motivational things. And the question was, you know, I need to just get up and forget about what's around me and focus on the important things. Friends, family, job, my, my YouTube career slash motivational career. All these opportunities weren't given to me. I worked for it. I work, you work for a friendship. You work for a job. You work for a career in this. And it, it's allowed me to live up my dreams. And when I look back, 
I realize I can't actually feel sorry for myself because I'm doing what I love. And if I focus my brain on the right things, get myself out of the negatives, I'm doing all right. I have the greatest friends, the greatest family, the greatest career or second career opportunity in YouTube. My job is a digital specialist. I love it dearly. But the matter of the fact is I want to grow and develop. I want to get bigger. I want to become known. I want to lose weight. I want to be an inspiration to others. Yes, I know I've done things that have inspired others, but I want to do more. How am I going to do more? By working hard, taking on opportunities, finding opportunities, looking for, following examples, using influences as my motivation, roaming outward. Everyone says, Gary, why are you wearing Smile More? Because that brand was the reason this was created. My friends were the reason this was created. My family, this was created. My dream is to work in sport. So I created Walking Door G-Man, G-Man Sports. That's it, I've allowed it. But what I've also realized, and I've come to realize this very often, and I often forget, but I'm very quickly back to reminded, is that if I had to die today or tomorrow, would I be satisfied with the life I've lived? At this stage, yes, but also no. Because there's the things that I've done that I'm mostly not proud of. The things that I've done that I'm very proud of. But there are things that I still want to do to make you guys, family, friends, even more prouder. And that encourages me to live my life to the full. To take on the opportunities. To never give up. To never say no. To always be encouraged by the wisdom around us. To take opportunities. I know I've said that three times. But it's so important. Going back to the dark place. During depression. If you have a disease or a sickness, if a family member is ill or not, find that, that, that dim light. Find it because there is a light there. And start working at turning it around. Because you do that, my friends, you'll be able to move forward. You will be able to find examples, find solutions, find answers to solve your life's challenges. And I promise you, you will be grateful you'll be thankful, and you'll be able to live a fuller life. And that's the message I want to leave you guys with today. The last day of my life, the question now for you, are you satisfied? And if your answer is no, turn that light on. And make that light shine every single day with you along the way. And let me know how it goes, because those are the stories that will motivate me to continue this and will motivate you to live your life to the full. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Something different, something special. Please share this message with your friends and family. Share it wide because I think this is a powerful message that can inspire others. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay safe. Live your life. And remember to never give up. Cheers.